Okay, so in today's One Piece game video, we'll actually be awakening the Quake Crew and coming white here. And to do this, we're gonna have to complete a bunch of steps. So I'll actually, you guys to complete the steps well, which are real quick. Hit the like button and subscribe. Step one is of course to get Whitebeard's Devil Fruit, the Quake Fruit. So we're gonna have to grind for a bunch of money and keep spinning over and over again until we get this super awesome Devil Fruit. Step two is to get some Robux and head over to the Robux after shop and dress up and make our person look like Whitebeard. Step three is to awaken the Quake Fruit by getting the super rare Awakening Scroll from the Whitebeard world boss, so we're gonna have to defeat this world boss who does have Awakened Quake. And the final step is we're gonna have to farm this Awakened Whitebeard world boss over and over again for all of his drops including his cape, his hat, and his weapon. By the way, if you guys want to join the Discord server for my new Roblox One Piece game called World Peace, check the link in the description and the pinned comment for tester, giveaway, sneaks, and much more. Start off by dressing up as Whitebeard, so let's just search up Whitebeard right here, hopefully something does come up and ooh, look at this bro, you know what? We might as well dress up as Prime Whitebeard when Whitebeard was young and he was even stronger, so yeah. And of course, we're gonna just clothes, so let's search up Whitebeard and then we'll set it right here to clothing. Come on, show me that Prime Whitebeard, and I think it does look like it, so we're gonna get this. Pants are right here too, so we'll get these as well for also five Robux. We're gonna search up Whitebeard again because we do need, of course, his beard slash mustache thing. And okay, this right here, this definitely looks like him, and oh. We already have this. Now for his hair, I think it's called like blonde, spiky, protagonist hair, I think. Let's type this in and hopefully something like young Whitebeard's hair shows up. And know what? Yeah, this definitely looks like it, bro. We're in the game and our avatar doesn't look all too perfect. But don't worry, guys. Once we get Whitebeard's cape from the world boss, it'll look way, way more awesome. But I think we should probably start off by beating up the guard boss so that, you know, we get some cash and we can probably spin for the quake fruit. So let's head over here. And we did get Electro V2 in the last video. So I guess we'll use this to absolutely demolish Garp. Here we go, E-Claw. And bro, why did it just go to Kobe? Like, I'm not even trying to kill Kobe. Now let's see how much damage we're going to do. Electrical Moon. Toss it right there. And damn, bro. Okay, but we're going to turn on Dual Yoru's Hawkeye Mode 2. Now let's check out the damage. Moon Dance. Yes, sir, bro. But now we're also going to turn on the Limitless Mode on our Gojo Fighting Style. And now here we go. Static Talents. Let's see how much damage this does. And bro, that damage is insane. Look at that. In one move, we got these dudes to half HP. We're going to throw one more moon down at these boys. I think we could probably just finish them off with Canine Scourge. And yeah, let's see. Will this one shot these boys? I'm pretty sure it might actually one shot Garp and Kobe. And we're going to get so much money from this, bro. Come on. One shot him. Yes, sir, dude. Look at that. We got 14 billion cash. So we're going to go test out our luck at the Fruit Merchant. Bro, if we don't get the Quake Fruit on our first try from this boy, I'm also going to be upset because if you guys didn't know, the Quake Fruit came out so long ago in this game, so it's not even that river fruit, it's pretty common honestly, though. We're going to spin right here and honestly we're just going to do one single spin and see how this goes. Give me Quake on my first try and bro, that fruit is absolute dog, but it's fine, we're going to put all these guys on auto delete right here and we're going to see how this goes. So obviously don't put the Quake Fruit on auto delete, all of these guys, so we're just going to go ahead and purchase five fruits right here, let's see what happens and dude. No quake fruit. What? Team Walls Code would never give up. Plus, we do have 13 billion more cash left to go. So spin again and bro. Are you telling me I still haven't gotten quake? Okay, you know what? We're gonna bring out the big guns, bro. We're gonna go for 10 whole spins. Give me quake. Yes, sir, bro. There we go. First fruit right there is the quake fruit. Look at this in my hands, bro. It looks beautiful. So we're gonna remove our rubber fruit and eat this boy up. Oh man, it's gonna hurt, bro. We're about to remove our rubber fruit, bro. This thing has gear five, gear four, gear two, all of those things, and even snake man. But there we go. We're moving it right now for belly, but it's all right, boys. We're about to eat this beauty right here. We're now at the brand new island, the ruined marine forward island, and look at this, bro. The Awakened Whitebeard boss. Look at his cape and his weapon, bro. This man is a beast, though. We're gonna destroy him. Here we go. We're gonna turn on all of our moves. We're gonna turn on Sulong as well. Or Dual Yoru. Now, see how easily we can destroy this boy with this Quake Fruit. And okay, use the move right there. And let's see how much damage this does. Bro, the regular Quake Fruit does like zero damage to this boy. So I guess we're gonna have to use our electric fighting style, I guess. We'll go E Claw on him. Yes, sir. And all right, let's do a little more damage. And Moon Dance 2. Yes, sir. Into Static Talons, I guess. I think we should probably use our ultimate right now so that we can, you know, eat him up quicker because we're not trying to waste any time here. We want to scroll fast. And of course, we want the rest of his drops too. So let's keep spamming all these moves. And I think after this, I'm probably going to switch back to the Rubber Fruit just so that we can, you know, beat up this boy quicker. But I'll keep the Quake Fruit in my storage so we can you know, swap back to it pretty easily. I'll probably put this on time-lapse until his health gets a little lower.
Okay, this boy is at around half HP, and I just want to check out how much damage does her ultimate move even do. So let's take a look at the damage counter. Come on, show it to me. Come on, game. And okay, 107 million damage. That's not bad for ultimate, but we're gonna check out static talents. All right, 68 million, and ooh, bro, static talents is almost the same amount of damage as the ultimate move. And what about electrical moon? We get 30 million. What about Ellie Claw or E Claw, whatever you guys want to call it? Basically the same as Electric Moon, and never mind, that did like 56 million Moon Dance as well, and okay, this is 27 million. So I'm pretty sure the best move to spam would probably be Static Talons if you want to, you know, beat them up quickly, so let's do that. This dude is so close to dying right now and I just found a little trick. Basically, we can just keep m one this dude because for some odd reason, Electro V2's M1s do so much damage, not even funny, bro. Just look at our damage counter. We're almost at a billion damage just from M1s and stuff. Look at this, bro. All I'm doing right now is just m one him and you guys can see how quickly he's... And just like that, he died and bro, we got the Emperor's Bandana, bro. So we got an accessory drop. We're going to definitely put this boy on. Yeah, we can't really see it since we do have the Prime Whitebeard outfit. But I guess we'll change our outfit for it. So we've changed our outfit. We're bald, but we're going to put on this Emperor's Bandana. And damn, bro. This looks nice, bro. But we still need the cape. Now, let's just see how quickly we can beat up this boy. So hand clap on him. Yes, sir. Gigant Stomp. And our Kaminari. Bro, look at that. That is on. Fair, bro. We did so much damage already. Spam these moves and let's see how much damage our ultimate move is gonna do. Here we go. Ultimate move and bro, this man is already at half HP. Like you guys can just see why I swapped over to gear five because this thing is just way too overpowered. It's gonna help us, you know, defeat this boss a lot quicker. They're gonna wake him quick much sooner. Here we go. Hand clap that boy once again into a Kaminari. You should be dead after that. And yes, sir, but we go yo. Go to Quake Sphere. What is this? I have no clue what this thing right here is. The Quake Sphere. And I'm pretty sure it might be used to actually awaken the Quake Fruit. So let's see how it looks. And oh, yeah, it's definitely a scroll. Now it's time to use this Quake Sphere. There we go, boys. We used it and we definitely awakened this boy. But there's still one more thing we need. We still need his weapon and, of course, his really awesome cape. Because if you guys didn't know, the cape is one of the best accessories in the game for stats and. Just even looks as well. I think before we get the rest of the stuff, we should probably showcase this thing. So we go first move, helmet splitter. Let's look at this and okay. So we'll grab move, teleports and grabs man. Bro, 56 million damage. And mind you guys, I don't even have my hockey or any of those crazy buffs on. And one more time because yeah, why not? And bro, this definitely does not look bad at all. Now we have Quake Crash, which is the second move, the E move. So we're gonna hold it down, let go right there and. Damn, bro. That AoE is massive. We're gonna use it one more time, and yeah, bro. That move is sick, dude. Just look at that. On to the next move, the or move. It's called Seismic Templar. So I guess we'll just use it right now. Seismic Templar, and bro, we just smashed the ground multiple times, causing like a huge earthquake right there. With Seismic Templar, and nah, bro. This fruit. Quake Awakening is so overpowered. Now it's time for Island Shake, which is another move. So, yup, Island Shake. Oh, it's a cutscene. Bro, did you guys see that? 200 million damage without any hockey, without any buffs on at all. This fruit is not balanced at all. Here we go, Island Shake one more time. Yeah, bro. This looks so overpowered. Now it's time for the final move, Planetary Tsunami. So, yep, Planetary Tsunami. Yo. I can see that, bro. That is massive, dude. Look how big that tsunami is, dude. It's glowing too, bro. Yeah, almost 500 million damage without any buffs on. We're going to use that thing one more time. So, planetary tsunami. There we go. And, bro, I can't wait to use all of these moves on the Whitebeard Brutal Boss. We're going to be destroying that man so quickly, though. Yeah, dude, just look at that. So the white beard boss finally spawned again. We're just gonna turn on all of our buffs. Now we're gonna check out the damage on this thing while trying to get you know the rest of white beard's drops. So here we go. Helmet splitter. Let's check out the damage. Come on, yo, 340 million damage from one move. Not bad at all. What about the next move? Quake crash. So, yep. Let's just use it and okay, another 350 million damage move. We're definitely competing with Gear Five here. Now we've got Seismic Templar and 
yet another 350 million damage move and next up island shake 2 which is doing 386 million damage bro so it's time for the ultimate i guess planetary tsunami how much damage is it gonna do bro this better do a billion damage if it does then this thing is easily better than gear 5 honestly and okay yeah i'm pretty sure this might be better than gear 5 boys so we're just gonna keep spamming our moves and let's see how quickly we can kill this boy and someone let me know if we're killing wiper quicker then we killed him with you know gear 5 honestly i don't even know what i'm doing i'm just spamming my keyboard hoping that he dies and bro no drops let's just hope that we do get the drops we need from this white beard kill right here because yeah it takes a really really long time to even find this boss because if you guys didn't know a world boss spawns every 20 minutes and even then it's only like a small chance for a world boss to spawn but that's not it because the world boss can be big mom shanks or the kraken so it's a pretty small chance to even get this white beard world boss so come on Wipe your just die already, you're so close to dying, we're just gonna use our planetary tsunami. Let's see if this one shots him. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna one shot him. Yeah, we're just gonna camp up here in the sky and yeah, you're dead, Whitebeard. And bro, no draw. I can feel it. This is the one. This is that one boss that is finally able to give us the drops we need, so we're gonna absolutely demolish this boy. We got the strongest food in the game. If we can't get the drop, bro. That would just be embarrassing. So there we go, we used our planetary tsunami. We'll use helmet splitter while the planetary tsunami is coming and Okay, I don't know what that sound was, but you guys saw that 1 billion damage right there, and yeah, man. This is supposed to be a world boss, guys, and it's almost dead, because I'm the real Whitebeard, so I need your cape, boy, and there we go, he's dead, and bro, we got another Emperor's bandana, but not the cape. And know what, we'll just pop Island Shake right now, and our ultimate too, because, you know, might as well use him early to get the job done even quicker, because we're not trying to waste time here. We need Whitebeard's cape, bro. We need that cape, man, and spam Quake Crash too. Yes, sir, and okay, why isn't it working? There we go. Finally work. Get him with that grab move too. Bro, look at that damage, man. 1.3 billion damage. And get him with seismic temblor as well. And know what? Bro, that's insane. Our ultimate's cooldown is already over that quickly, and Whitebeard is nearing half HP. Yeah, most of the best fruits in this game do have extremely low cooldowns. Just like this awesome fruit, bro. And he should be dead. And one more move. We'll just island shake. And bro, we got another quick sphere, but not his cape. I can't wait to check out how much stronger this fruit's gonna be once we get Whitebeard's cape. Because if you guys didn't know, Whitebeard's cape gives such awesome stat buffs that, yeah, you know, those stat buffs are gonna be making a huge difference. How didn't that do a billion damage? But it's fine. He should be dead. And bro, no draw. It takes me like two or three hours every time to even just find one of these Whitebeard bosses because it's a pretty rare boss to spawn and these bosses do only have a chance of spawning every 20 minutes as well so it takes a lot of time and this one's almost dead come on bro just give me the drop I want let's we'll finish him off with our ultimate in style and Noah Island Shake 2 yes sir he's dead but no sir no draw oh I just realized how many gems we have now because of how many Whitebeards we've killed because of course, this is a world boss, so it does give gem drops as well, and we have almost 30,000 gems. I just realized he also has a second HP board that lets us see his HP a little better. So he's basically a half HP, I guess you could say, so, you know, we're doing pretty good. Should be able to finish him off very, very soon. Come on, just die already, Whitebeard, and, bro, I was about to say, I thought that was something else, but we did get a really rare fruit right there. We did get the paw fruit. We've gotten every single drop from Whitebeard already. Multiple times, we've gotten, like, two quick spheres two of the emperor's bandanas and so much more bro we got so many foods we even ended up getting the paw fruit from a world boss which is just insane bro honestly planetary tsunami has to be my favorite move it just does so much damage it's not even funny though yeah speaking of it we're gonna use it right now and we'll use our cutscene move to island shake and come on give me the drop white beard bro there is no way so unfortunately guys i'm running out of time to make this video so we're not gonna get the cape but make sure to join the discord server for my new one piece game called world peace links in the description and pin comment for tester giveaway sneaks and much more